Hello, I'm Stephanie Toman and uh, this video that we're going to be looking at today is to do, they call it document security. So it's about restricting documents um, from outside, so you cannot get in to open or you can only get in to, to modify, um, and restricted protection within a document. So there's only particular areas that you can work on, for example, as it shows on here, you can update tracking changes, you can, uh, you can make it a read-only so that they can only read it you can allow them to make changes in comments etc and the filling in forms is something that we do as part of this syllabus when we create uh, forms within word so it is part of the syllabus for the advanced uh, word processing again the ICT, ictl and um, it could be useful if you were using it in work or somewhere else where you wanted to protect things most of us use the uh, straightforward encryption protection but the difference is, as you'll see when I show you on the demonstrations, is that the password protection in the syllabus needs to have the option of to open or to modify. Okay, so that's the difference. Thank you. Okay, moving on to the document security area and rate. So if we look at this area, this is the section eight, there's different ways of protecting a Word document. There's password protected and restricted protection. So the password protected for articles and I put the word open there. So if we click on this and it comes up with a password, let's type in lowercase open. And that's allowed us to get into the document from the outside. So it's protected from getting in at all with open. There are two areas within the password protection. There's an open and a modify area. And we need to think about those. So the way that we would do it, if we go to File, and then we go to Save As and Browse, this brings up the dialog box for us to be able to, to use the tool in here. Before I go any further, if we go back and I go to File, I don't want you to take this route. A lot of people are taking this route because it's what they're doing every day. It's quick, simple. But the thing is, it's not the, the one you use in the exam. In the exam, there's two areas that we need to get to. So we use the save as browse. Then we get here, we get to the tools and general options. So that we have a password to open area and a password to modify area. So if I wanted to change this from open, I'd delete that password. And I want a password for modify. Just for simplicity, let's type modify in the modify area. OK. Pop it in again, OK, and save. Close it, reopen it, and remember we've used the password modify. If you make a spelling mistake, then it obviously won't open, so I nearly do. Another thing to be aware of in the exam, sometimes it is case sensitive, so sometimes they, I've seen people putting the right password in and their cap locks on. So it just keeps coming up going, no, no, no. So be really careful that you do it exactly as they ask you to do it and make sure your, your cap lock's not on. So that's password protection from the outside. So remember, file, save as, browse to bring your dialog box up, then you've got tools and general options, and then you could remove all passwords. You're saving it back through again and again. And in the exam, it will come up and say, um, shall I override the existing document? And, they, and you do, because it's different. It's been password protected. So this one now, if I close it and I open it, there's no password on it. Make sure your passwords are meaningful. If you do it in work, please don't lock down all the documents because your manager or your boss may not be very happy when you've forgotten the password. So be very careful how you use it and use it in situations where it's quite paramount. OK, but don't password protect absolutely everything just because you can. With regard to the part protection, it's slightly different. It's about restricting editing. And you can find it in the review tab. Um, so if we pop there and we look at restrict editing right at the end there. And click on there and it brings up a task pane. So in the exam, if they're asking you to restrict something with regard to um, filling in forms, comments, tracking, read only, 
it's not about restricting the whole document from being open. So it's not about password protecting the whole document on the outside. You can be asked to use possible passwords on this one as well. It's always going to be the editing restrictions in the exam. That's one thing we can be sure of. It's part of the syllabus. And you can see those things I just mentioned, track changes, comments, filling in forms, no changes, read only. We'll be using this again when we come to doing filling in forms, online forms. Um, so you would pick one, let's pick um, filling in forms, just because I mentioned it. Then when you start protection, you could be asked to put a password in. So let's put in protect with no capitals, right? both lowercase and OK. And now it's stopped. You've got to stop protection. So in order to open it back up again, you're expected to know the password. So if someone else comes and tries to, to get at your restricted document, then you know how to fix that. So that's part protection. And you'll see that when you do um, an, a filling in a form, when you do an online form, you're the editor and you protect it, keep it locked down, and then the people it gets sent to use it, but they cannot edit it. So that's the point in uh, password protection. So you can see here, it's all written on there about how to control it, but that's the process that you go through. So there's a, a restrict protected in the review, remember, bring it up that way. And when it comes to this one, to password protect it, just as a quick recap, you would be going the file, save as, and browse area. And then that should prompt you to remember tools, general options, okay?